Good morning, it's me. I'm back. I'm Stephanie Flath, Stampin' Up! Demonstrator. And I'm coming to you live on Wednesday morning. It is September 28th, uh, um, 10.30 a.m. Eastern Time. And I'm live for you every um, uh, Wednesday morning um, right here on my business Facebook page. And you can find me any other time on my website at Um, So I am, while you're getting ready here, I'm going to refresh my screen so that I can see comments. So let me know when you get on. Um, I always like knowing who I'm gabbing with um, or gabbing at. I like who <laughs> I, I gab at you, but I like when you're commenting. Good morning, Marlene. Um, that always makes me happy and feels like I'm not by myself. <laughs> it's easier to talk to a crowd than just who I'm staring at in my camera. <clears throat> Excuse me. Oh, that's weird. I can see my comment. Uh, I can see my comment on... Okay, now I can see comments on the computer. For some reason, I can't see Marlene's comment on the computer, but I see Terry's and Jamie's. Good morning. I'm so glad to see you. So I've been away for um, several days. Todd and I went to San Antonio to visit my sister um, and her family down there. Um, hi, Debbie. Good morning. Um, we had a great time. We had so much fun. It was <laughs> it was crazy. Um, the difference in the temperature, though, especially like we left the day that it really cooled down. Um, so like we left it and it was 40 some degrees in the morning when we left. And then we got down there and it was in the 90s. Um, so huge difference, but it felt good to come back to cool. I know that sounds crazy, but I'm a little hot body. And so um, so that was I was glad to be back here. So we had a great time with our family. Um, we got a little bit of crafting in. We got a bunch of sites in and tried different foods. Um, Teresa was awesome. She put together an itinerary for us um, and put a bunch of stuff on there. Um, and and she put an asterisk by the things that they hadn't seen yet either. So we went to places like that too. Um, so it was really, it was really fun. Um, and let's see what else we had good foods that we tried for breakfast. We had good foods that we tried with them. Um, her husband smoked some brisket for us. Hi, Marsha. Um, so we had brisket tacos. That was delicious. We met some of their church friends and had fun with them and played games and oh and we had this amazing um crazy pizza it was called it was from a place called big Lou's. um it was 42 inches in diameter um they cut it into 28 no 32 pieces <laughs> we said both ways good morning carrie and dina um and so I have a picture of me. I'm, I'm like holding the slice like this because it's like I figured out it, it didn't hit me until I talked with um, my nieces and sister-in-law yesterday. Um, like the piece would have been about two feet long. And um, it was the really skinny pieces. But anyway, and it was good pizza, too. It wasn't just like, oh, it's this great big thing. It, it was good. So, um they invited a bunch of their church friends along with us so we could share the pizza. It was it was really good. Um, so anyway, we had a wonderful time. We're glad to be back to our own bed, though, and have our own big old bath towel. And it's funny. So I did this a month ago because I went to Backstage in New Orleans. And I walked in like, oh, yeah, we have a new kitchen. I forgot. <laughs> so every time I'm gone for a while and I come back like, oh, yay, new, new kitchen. I love it. Um, okay, so thank you. I did have a great time. We had a great time. Oh, and we met their dog, Lucy. She is adorable. 
You know I'm not an animal person, but she is too cute. Well, and, you know, when my family has animals, that's different. But um, she is a toy poodle. Um, she might be a mix of something, but definitely toy poodle. And um, so she's like this big. And she was hilarious. She is totally a people person. She came right to us as soon as we got there. And we barely had seen her. And she was already on her back like, okay, here's my belly. As, as Todd said, um, this belly's not going to rub itself. So <laughs> she was hilarious. Too cute. Every morning we came in and she just had to do it. She, like this one time, she came to me first. I don't know, I must have been closer or something. She came to me first, and then, um, like, Todd was ready, but he was, like, a few feet away from me. We were taking our shoes off and whatever. And she was, like, there, like, her back was arched, and she's looking at him like, okay, I'm ready to flip. You're coming, right? And, and then she's, and then he wasn't coming, so she had to run out of him, and she would do this thing, like, she'd plop down on your, your foot right there and, like, okay, here it is, belly, go for it. She was hilarious. Okay, so I have my randomizer set. I have two cards to give away and that I can recall. Yes, those were my samples of um, what my, my first, um, what is it called? What did I call it? I've been away for a while. My first, I can't think of it. That's a club. Card club. Well, my first card club was going to be like, does anybody have a question about the card club? Um, you have to let me know if you do. Um, I'm starting my randomizer. So the card club, eventually it's going to be every month. Um, Odina, you're my first winner. Congratulations. Um, so, Dina Edwards. Okay, I'm going to start another one, pick another name, and start. Dot Allegary, yay! Congratulations, Dot. I miss having her on here with us. Um, She's far too busy at work now. Huh. Okay, thank you for sharing already, Marsha. And it seems like I saw somebody else too. Oh, Dina too. Thank you so much. Um, <clears throat> so Card Club is going to be every month. This time it's going to be, I don't even know. I should have looked all that up. I can't look at my calendar right now because it's on my phone. Um, um, I'll try to remember that and, and talk about that later. Okay, so today, um, you're welcome, Dina. Um, today, I'm going to work with a stamp set. I'm actually copying one that I did with my club last month, just like I did last week, um, and then also making another card with it. Um, very similar, almost identical um, card design um, sketch, I guess I'll call it. Um, but just using it in a little bit different way. So I'm using the stamp set, actually the bundle called Ringed with Nature. And um, the bundle includes a hybrid, how do, how do we describe it? A hybrid set of dies or a hybrid folder. I'm not sure. Just a sec, I'm going to look. Hybrid embossing folders. So there's a couple of them in the mini catalog. And um, I'm going to show you, first of all. So the folder is this. Um, thanks for sharing, Marlene. A folder is this um, rings of tree trunks or tree trunk rings or slices of tree trunks. I don't know. That's why it's called ringed, ringed with nature, because you see the rings from the tree trunks. So there's this embossing folder that you can completely just do by itself. It would emboss it with this background. It's a it's a 3D embossing folder. So if you don't have um, the if you have the old machine and don't have the specialty plate, um, it was blue before we got the new machine. 
And then when we got it, now it's a, a thicker, a dark gray one. If you don't have that, you need this because it's um, 3D and that matters. Um, oh, here's how it looks. There's the Stampin' Up! name. Okay, so here's this embossing folder. Then there's also, I gotta turn this around. Right. There's also these dies that you can completely use um, all by itself. It cuts out lots, just like normal dies, it cuts out lots of the pieces, um, the flowers, there's tree branches, there's um, this, this set of rings that you can cut out with other, uh, with them. But then there's this specific one that cuts out a whole bunch of tree trunks, just like this folder. So I'm gonna put this on here because I won't be able to do it while looking in the camera because my mind can't work backwards. So also you can use it together with the embossing folder and with the die. So it cuts out these five individual um, rings of wood at the same time that it embosses it, okay? So I already did that embossing and I'll show you that as soon as I put the camera down. But anyway, so that's the bundle that I'm gonna use today. So I'm gonna set this aside and I should have everything that I need from it. So I'm gonna put you down and start playing. I'm gonna use my magic wand on backwards you upside down and put you down. Okay, I'll move this way. All right, so I should have put something underneath this. So here is the piece of cardstock. By the way, this is like the four and a quarter by five and a half inch size of cardstock. Um, it doesn't quite fit the whole thing, but that's okay because you can have little pieces that you can put at the edge. Um, you can make a bigger piece if you want, <clears throat> but I definitely can get four whole um, tree trunk rings out of here. So as I said, it cuts it and embosses it when you use them both together like I showed that. Yeah, it's cool. Okay, so I, I was looking for this when I had my clubs and I, for some reason, could not find it. I'm going to show you in my, there's a set of them in the, um, <clears throat> in the full catalog. I think it's called Sprigs and Twigs or Twigs and Sprigs or something like that. That's the only one that I could find in the full catalog. But there's these, oops, these two um, in the mini catalog. So... This one um, is new, so it's on page 62 with um, as a bundle. And then this one actually came back from last year's um, holiday catalog. And we've had other ones, but this is the first one that I've actually bought and played with. Um, I feel like, Dina, didn't you buy um, the flower one that was in last year's catalog? It's It was like artistic something or I don't, I don't remember what it was. I somehow ended up with it and then never used it. So anyway, so this was the first time that I tried it. So I'm going to make my card and um, I won't need the, I won't need those pieces until later. So this was my piece that, this was just the normal size that I cut out. Okay. <clears throat> Yes, I love the idea that you can do that though. So um, I'm gonna be, on both of my cards that I'm using here, I'm gonna be using this gingham again. And it's this gingham cottage. Um, um, here's my swatch book with all the different ginghams that you that are in this pack. So it can be Christmas or fall or Halloween. There's a couple of those black and orange ones back here somewhere. I saw one of them, but I thought 
they were on two different sheets. Let me check. Oh, I guess it's just the one. I thought there was a smaller gingham pattern with both black and orange also. But I don't see it. I only see the big one. All right. Anyway, um, this is, I love gingham too, Jamie. So this is $30 and it has 48 sheets, um, which I figured out the math. Um, this is actually a really good deal because, so there's normally 12 sheets in a pack of designer paper. So you're getting four times the, four times the normal size of designer paper, but a normal price, now I suddenly can't remember. I'm trying to look for the price. Is it $12? Suddenly can't remember. Okay, a normal non-specialty designer paper is $12. So four times that would be $48. So you're getting a great deal with $30 on this gingham. If you like gingham, it's a great deal. Um, so I wanted to do a different color. I don't know if you can tell this or not, but I didn't choose pumpkin pie. I chose Calypso Coral. Um, so both of my cards are going to be using this designer paper. The first thing that I'm going to do, though, is I'm going to use... Thank you for sharing, Penny. Um, I'm going to use my Stamparatus, and I'm doing this partly because I'm... I'm going to use the house is what I'm going to use in this card. And I wanted to be able to place the roof on the house well. So um, we barely want to hold on here because of where the house is. And then we can hold on well over here. If you've not used the Stamparatus before, you got to keep in mind these two magnets are very, very strong. You don't want to get them close to each other. Like this is, this is probably about as close as you want to get them or otherwise they they just grab each other um, and they're very brittle so you got to be careful so i want to be able to place this um house with the roof on it right where i want it um so i'm making it a oh that does not look i could have redone it but because that's what the point of the stamparatus is but it just already looked bad when i started it so Gonna press this down. Now, typically, um, I'm gonna clean this right now. Hi, Kathy. The first time, the first card that I'm starting with is the one um, that we made at club. Um, so we have a chamois. Does everybody realize we have a, something called a simply chamois? I think I saw it was eight dollars now or eight fifty. <clears throat> I don't remember now. It used to be six, I thought, but maybe I'm crazy. Um, anyway, I don't use this very often. I don't like it the best. I like the stamp and scrub the best for all my stamps. But when I'm using the Stamparatus, it's perfect because I can wipe off the plate. I can wipe off my stamp. That's what it's intended for. It comes lightly moistened and it, do it will stain pretty much as soon as you use it. You can rinse out the the ink, but it still will potentially be stained. Um, but anyway, so this is perfect for when you're using the Stamparatus. So you don't have to take your um, your stamp back off your plate. It still can be positioned in the same exact spot. You just clean that off. Um, so typically, if I were just doing this by myself, I would probably mount one stamp here, and then I would could flip it around. Remember, you have to have it straight up and down to be able to do it. And then I would mount the other stamp here to be able to do the other one. But when I have class <clears throat> and everybody's passing them all around. Oh, that's a good idea, Marsha. I thought I've thought about that before. Cut mine into quarters so you can so it's smaller. Um, when I have class, because of the stuff we end up having in the middle of the table, I like having it on two separate plates so you can switch the plates out and pass the plates or pass the whole stamparatus, but people can leave their their um, piece positioned in the same exact spot that they started um, and finish it off. So in case you haven't seen the Stampin' Up! Stamparatus like this before, 
Uh, it's still, it's looking goofy. Um, there, that's better. Um, not only can you flip it around and do, do it on the other side, but if you set it up properly, like you would, if I had it, let's say I had another stamp here. In fact, I could set it up if I wanted to. Um, is there any ink on here? There's not any ink on here. Okay, so I'm going to slide this off just a little bit because this is where I want this one to be. I'm using Thinking of You on this one and I'm gonna move this over so it can hold it some more because I want, wanted to show you. So what we can also do with this is come from, come from the top. So you have both sides from the top also. So I can, I better clean this so I don't get ink all over my fingers because I gotta press at the same spot here. Um, so I can come down, pick up my stamp. This is how you get it set up, is you position it where you want it to be. And then ink up your stamp. And I got it on. It probably doesn't really matter because I'm not gonna be pushing this onto my project, but I got a bunch of ink on there because it's at a goofy angle. And that was Cajun Craze, by the way. And I can see I'm thinking of you. So here's my, here's my piece with my house on it. Okay, so I'm just going to close this like this. All right, done with the Stamparatus. Okay, now we're going to put our card together. And just a sec. I hid my I hid my silicone mat from myself. It was great. I brought um, Teresa and Isabella silicone mats as a gift when I went there, and it worked perfectly because um, we were helping Isabella a little bit. We didn't have tons of time to do it, but she's trying to get ready for a craft show. And she inherited a whole bunch of my mom's craft supplies, which, oops, which included lots of partially done um, projects. And so we were trying to, at least the ones that Isabella wasn't trying to, um, she wanted to do some of them herself that she had started or were her vision or whatever. But we were trying to help her with some of the things that my mom had partially put together. So we needed the, oh, what do you call that? The hot glue gun, is that right? Right words? Um, so Teresa was asking for a scrap paper and I hadn't given her a gift yet because um, we had just gotten started crafting and I'm like, oh wait, use this. I have something just perfect for that. So she was happy about that. Okay, so now we're just going to put some of these, I'm gonna choose some smaller ones. I don't want this huge one on here. We're gonna choose some smaller, I mean, you could you can do your card the way you want to, but I'm wanting my rings on here, on the edge here. Just like that. And then I want to use this partial one too because I want it to sort of go off my card. So I'll put that edge, oops, stuck to my finger. Put that edge right at the edge of my cardstock. So I have a cute little border of my of my rings. <clears throat> okay, then we're gonna use dimensionals on here. Now I made this a thinking of you card. I like the, this, I'm always looking for new thinking of you um, 
fonts and designs of the wording, you know, I, I just, it's a good card to make because you can use it for so many things, whether it's like a get well soon card or even a sympathy card could start out with thinking of you and then you can do more inside. Um, <clears throat> but anyway, this could also with this house and even with these colors, um, it could be a um, a Christmas card too. So anyway, all right. So these are brushed metallic ad adhesive back dots. These are in the full catalog. So I'm just gonna place one and then center around it. Oops. I'm gonna do one more down here. There we go. Here's my card. Okay, so now I basically have the same kind of design, but I wanted to show you that you could use the stamp set differently. By the way, I told you the stamp set is on page 62. The bundle is on there. <clears throat> okay, so these are my pieces. Same kind of thing. Um, and But this time what I want to do, I just remembered. This time what I want to do, thank you, I'm glad you like it is I'm gonna stamp the rings instead of um, making texture or um, texture or cutting it out or whatever. So I can make the rings, oops, that was a bad one, on here, however I want, just with stamping. And again, I'm just doing this side because I'm because of how I have the card designed. Okay, so here's my stamped rings. I'll show you. So these are two different colors of the rings themselves. The card bases are the same. This is crumb cake, um, and I used. Okay, bye, Marcia. Um, thanks for watching. <clears throat> I used crumb cake on crumb cake for this. And now I'm going to design this. And I wanted to use the poinsettias. I'm trying to decide which way I want this to show. I want this to be a certain way and I, it's not how I mounted it on my, on my block. Okay. So I'm using cherry cobbler. I know probably real red is probably more what you would use, but I chose cherry cobbler. So I'm, that was a bad stamp job. Let me see if I can do that again. Close enough. Okay, so I got one there. Put one here. Make sure I press that well. I do have. This is not cut well. I'm going to have to ask for a new stamp set. They didn't. It didn't come out of there well. The. um, Like in between the petals. It's not cut deeply enough, so I'm getting this, these little ink spots here. I didn't press that hard. Let me try it again. I'm just gonna do normal. Yeah, that's not okay. All right, so here's my poinsettia. Now, I don't know how much this stamp is actually gonna show, but I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna use these. Um, yeah, they don't show much right here. Well, I'm getting the yellow inside there with stamping, but it's not really showing up well. So I already had a plan that I was going to use some dots on it. Oh, I can color, cover some of those up with my leaf here. This is garden green, by the way, so I'm going to put some in between here. I don't know how 
how many they normally have on here, do you? Oh, I didn't ink that up well. I don't usually buy poinsettias. Okay. So here's my poinsettias. And I want to stamp. Hopefully this is dark enough. I want to stamp Merry Christmas at the top. So this is in this um, in the stamp set. So you can use Merry Christmas right from the stamp set. Here we go. Then I want to put this on black cardstock. Okay, so I don't forget to tell you this while I'm putting my layers together here. Um, <clears throat> if you are interested in coming to my um, one day retreat, crafting retreat, there is one spot left, literally. Um, we can't fit any more people because of the number, tab number of tables that are available. So if you want to come and you are hoping to this time, um, you need to let me know right away or you need to click on your invitation um, to do it. I feel like I want it popped up. It's sort of busy. Um, um, I send invitations through my mailing list. So click on that to register right away so that you get your spot because um, there's one spot left. <clears throat> what you do is you bring crafting projects to do. It's The date is October 29, and you can stamp or scrapbook or um, whatever things that you have in mind. You know what? I need to, it's too busy. And this is going to sound funny, but I want to use something to cover it up. Um, so adding something sounds like a goofy idea, but it might help. We're going to see. Um, you bring your own projects. Um, and then you also get product to make some projects with us. Um, Stampin' Up! projects that we plan for you. Um, so you also get lunch and supper, and it's just a great time. You get to spend the day doing what you love. All right, so we're going to see how this looks. Thank you for sharing, Jamie. All right, what do you think? Did it help? Did it help the so many things on there? All right, now I need to make sure that you can see the inside of center. I'm gonna use the big one. I'm gonna use the big one on one, see what I think. Make small ones on this one. Uh, that I think looks better. That looks better with the small ones. Thank you. I'm glad that I'm glad that you think it helped too. I think so. I definitely like. Okay, maybe I need to show you better. What do you think? Three small for the poinsettia center, or one big one? I feel like we need the small one. Thank you. I'm glad you like it. Um. I just feel like I like that better. So you tell me what you think, but I'm doing it with the small ones. So I'm going to use up all my small yellow. <clears throat> so by the way, if you didn't notice, these are the glossy dots. Um, they're part of the hues of happiness. Sweet. 
and so I'm not really sure. Isn't there just always yellow in in the middle of the poinsettia? I'm not sure how this is supposed to. Oh, I wonder if it's not, if the blankness isn't showing because, no, it's the, that's the design of the, the stamp. It's not that it's not cut out there. Anyway, here it is. We got it. I'm glad you agree, agreed with me. Okay, so I'm going to, I'm done stamping. So I'm going to un upside down you, put you backwards again, and lift you up. <clears throat> okay, now this time, I won't forget to show you my card, cards. Please. Oh, wow. We'll be praying for that, Kathy. She says, her friend in Florida, hurricane, hurricane is heading their way. They already have water coming in their house, and it hasn't even hit yet. We'll definitely be praying. Okay, so here's my Christmas card that I made. <clears throat> and then, <coughs> excuse me, sorry, sometimes I don't hold it up long enough. And then here's my thinking of you. I love this house. The house is too cute. Okay. So, things to remember. Okay, so I told you about the one-day crafting retreat. It's an all-day thing, 10 a.m. to 10 p.m. or however long you can stay, however long you want to be there. Um, oh, yeah. Yeah. I forgot about Missy, too. I don't know even where it's going. And honestly, I don't know where Missy is either. Where in Florida? Is it all of Florida? It's just hitting the whole state? Um, thank you. Glad you like the cards. Um, um, what was I going to say? Oh, the crafting tree. So we have lunch and supper, and you get pillow gifts. Probably some people might call them table gifts, but I like the idea of pillow gifts because that's the um, the Stampin' Up name for the gifts that we get on the cruise. So we get pillow gifts every night on the cruise. Missy's on the other coast, so mainly a lot of water and wind. Oh, right. Okay. Um. So we get pillow gifts and um, projects to do, and it's just a fun day hanging with friends and stuff like that. Um, okay, so there's that. Now we have a bunch of things ending. Well, one is today. Today is the last day of the weekly deals that are going on. Friday is the last day for any of the dies that were exclusive to just this month. Excuse me. The stamp sets are in the mini catalog and the full catalog. Oh, my computer. I think we might have just... I don't know what happened. Either my computer just went away or our power went off for a second. I don't know. Um, I need to see comments on my phone because now I, my computer's just gone. I don't know where it went. Um, um, I lost my train of thought. No. The dyes. There's like the apple harvest, the <laughs> this little piggy birthday or something like that. Um, the Yeti one, the waterfall one. Anyway, those dyes are gone as of Friday or by Friday. So you can get them until then. Um, that's all I can think of that's going on for September. So um, if anybody comments, I'm not seeing comments on here anymore. And I'm not seeing on the computer. So <laughs> I'm not seeing anything on the computer. That's going to be a problem. Um, anyway, so that's all that I can think of right now. So thank you for joining me today and make sure that you take advantage of the last minute things. Um, let me know if you were hoping to go to the one day crafting retreat because we have one spot left just for you. 
Mm. Um, have a great day, and I will see you again in a week. <laughs> Thanks. Bye.